I, I didn't have a problem with athletes saying, Jason, you this close to catching, catching one. I, I needed to know that. that. That put some restraints and boundaries around me. No problem. But we talking about a 70-year-old man and a tweet that was nothing. A lot of my problem here is Skip is 71. And yeah. so, look, in the prime of my sports writing career, or early in my sports writing career, between the ages of 27 and 40, I would say, as a sports columnist in Kansas City, I wrote some very tough things about athletes. Uh, much tougher than the stuff Skip says, and certainly this tweet, this is nothing. This tweet is nothing. It's all manufactured. But I wrote some very tough things, snarky things, things that weren't really about advancing the story. They were about entertaining and all that. And, and, and I was critical of athletes, and, and I knew there was a consequence for that. A lot of the athletes did not like me, and when I went into that locker room, and I always went into the locker room, I knew that there were going to be upset athletes with me. Andre Risen threatened to kill me, wanted to beat me up. Wayne Simmons, he's a dead linebacker now. Uh, he died in a car accident. He, he, we used to hang at the same strip club. He tried to jump on me at the strip club, wanted to, you know, and Marcus Allen wanted to fight. I, I could go long, just a laundry list of people that had, and, and I didn't whine and cry about it at the time. I recognized it as the price for doing the job the way that I chose to do the job. Other sport, but I was in my, I was in my prime. I was between the ages of 27 and 40 when Jim Rome. I thought Jim Everett, you're young, may not remember this, but in 1994, Jim Rome and Jim Everett, the NFL quarterback, Jim Everett tried to beat up Jim Rome on set during the show. I actually thought it was appropriate. Jim Rome was sitting across from the man calling him Chris Everett, basically calling him a woman. Jim Rome was 30 years old at the time. Jim Everett was 31. These are peers. Jim Rome wants to be disrespectful to this man's face. He got every right to confront him. Just like, I'm just telling you, the athletes that confronted me. It wasn't on a Jim Rome. I wasn't calling them out in that kind of way. But I, I didn't have a problem with athletes saying, Jason, you this close to catching, catching one. I, I needed to know that. that. That put some restraints and boundaries around me. No problem. But we talking about a 70-year-old man and a tweet that was nothing that's what I find reprehensible, and that's and this whole disrespect that 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 we manufacture in our mind that at all times everything anyone says to us has to meet our standard of respect, and 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 if if not, uh, I'm 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 capable of jumping on you. That's a hip hop mentality, and that's why so many athletes or so many rappers end up dead, and why the the, the people that yeah. fully fully embrace that culture, those communities, a lot of times are ravaged by vice. And I know poverty and other things play a role, but this whole hip hop culture plays a role too.